guys, it's Don Kozak, author of Dark Urban Fantasy and Contemporary Fiction, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I was going to be super cool and try to vlog every day and be involved in social media, but that didn't happen. So this video is basically a recap of the first 10 days of National Novel Writing Month, whereas from this point I will try to vlog every day and create just a normal, you know, compilation of each day of impressions and progress and whatever. So I think the reason I failed with vlogging for the first part of the month is I went through this random little period where I hated how I looked on camera and how I sounded and everything that I said sounded stupid to me. If that's ever happened to you, let me know so I don't feel so weird. But I think I'm over it now. It was just this random little insecure few days and now, now I'm good. Life is hard, man. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, this video is just going to be me kind of recapping and discussing the first 10 days of National Novel Writing Month, and then the next video you see will hopefully be an actual vlog where each day I'm telling you how I'm feeling, how I did, etc, etc. So I've got my current writing notebook, and inside, because I'm not creative or artsy, I just really have this very basic looking list where I put the day, the goal, word count for the day, and then what I actually write at the end of the day. So let me break it down for you. Day one was great. Good start to the month. I feel like I got a little over 1900 words, but then day two, I fell behind already, which is a terrible feeling because I thought, oh wow, it's the beginning of National Novel Writing Month and I'm already falling behind. Am I going to totally fail this thing? Is it over for me? Should I give up now? But luckily, because I had already come in with a plan in place and knowing that, you know, failure is an option, but just push through it and get as much as you can anyways. I didn't panic. I just buckled down and said, okay, tomorrow will be better. So because of that, on day three, I was able to write a little over 2,100 words, which did catch me up to what I missed on day two. So it is possible to catch up. Don't freak out if like one day you fall behind. That doesn't mean your National Novel Writing Month is over and that you should give up and cry. Please don't cry. But I mean, cry if you need to, I guess. Day four and five were pretty normal, just slightly above the goal for the day. So nothing super special to report about those days. My total word count at the end of day five was 8,426. And according to the NaNoWriMo charts they give you on the website, I was supposed to be at 8,333. So slightly above that, not a ton, but enough that it was like, all right, I got this. This might work out. The first few days of NaNo really sucked for me because on day one, I had to drive all the way up to Salt Lake City to pick up my sister from the airport. And it wasn't going to be a big deal because her flight was going to get in at like eight in the evening. Not terrible, but then it got delayed three and a half hours. So I ended up having to be there at 11.30 at night with my toddler daughter in the car sleeping and then drive her all the way back down south and all that jazz. So that was not fun. And then on day two, I had to go back to Salt Lake City to pick up my husband from the airport. And then on day three and four, we had to drive up to Riverton both days. And then you'll never guess this on day five, I had to go back to the airport in Salt Lake City to drop off my sister. I basically live in Salt Lake City now. I hate driving up there, honestly. I am such a small town person. So that's why things were so crazy for days one through five. But then days six through 10, luckily everything kind of went back to normal per se. Day six, the word count was pretty average. It was just like 20 words over the goal word count. And then day seven and eight were actually great. I managed slightly over 1900 words for both days. Day nine was not as good. I only managed barely under 1200 words, which was fine because the last couple days before that were so good that I made up for what I didn't do on day nine. So I actually was still caught up with the overall target word count. But then day 10 came along and decided, hey girl, you're having a good time, you're being successful, let's put a stop to that. No, really, I'm not that upset about it. So day 10, which is yesterday, so it's day 11 right now. Yesterday I wrote only 663 words. 
because of a couple hundred extra words I got over the previous days, I only was short, I think about 850 words in order to reach the target goal word count. So I'm actually not that far behind and I'm, I'm really not upset about it. It's such a small little fluke thing that I just don't feel like it's worth it to panic about it and let it ruin my National Novel Writing Month experience. Especially because overall, the last 10 days have been really good. I'm feeling really confident. I'm feeling like all the preparation I did was worth it. I feel like what I'm writing is actually valuable to the future prospects of this story. Basically, I feel fine. If you've also fallen behind, I'm just going to tell you right now that it is not worth it to panic. Panic makes you go into this kind of catastrophizing mode where as soon as that one little thing goes wrong and you fall behind, you think, well, I'm behind, I can't finish NaNoWriMo. And then you think, oh, I'm never going to finish this draft. And then you think, well, maybe I'm not meant to be a writer. And then you go, well, I need to look for a different job. Don't do that. It's not a big deal. It's literally just a fun month to challenge yourself a little, get a good chunk of word count done on your book, even if it's not the full 50,000 words. And that's it. It's not a big deal. Don't make it deeper than it is. If you're not having fun during National Novel Writing Month, you're doing it wrong. And obviously I understand that it's supposed to be hard and you're challenging yourself and you're kind of hating it some days but overall your experience should be positive. Anyways, if someone like me, who has never finished NaNoWriMo, who has never completed a full length novel draft before, is not freaking out about falling behind, then you, you amazing, excellent person, should not freak out about falling behind. The last thing I'll leave with, just more related to my experience so far, is that I'm actually really happy with where my story is going. And I don't know if that means I'm a terrible writer and I'm not understanding that what I'm writing is awful and I shouldn't be proud of it, but I'm actually pleased. Like I'm following my outline and everything's coming together. I feel like my characterizations are pretty strong for how quickly I'm writing. And it's just, it's going well. I can't put my finger on it. Something just feels good about this draft and I'm very happy. That's where I'm going to leave it off. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking time out of your super busy month, especially if you're participating in National Novel Writing Month. I get what a big deal it is to take the time to actually sit and watch somebody's YouTube video when you're that freaking busy. So thank you, I appreciate it. If you want to, you can leave a comment below about how your month is going. It doesn't have to be too detailed if you don't have too much time. I just love hearing from you guys. It's always super fun for me. I really look forward to your comments. All right, if you want to see my attempt at an actual vlog in just a few days, subscribe to my channel so you can find out when it arrives in the YouTube sphere. As always, if you have an AuthorTube channel you want me to check out, let me know down in the comments and I'll go check it out if I have time. I'm so crazy busy right now. And just a disclaimer for anybody that follows me and I follow you back, I am so behind on watching YouTube videos right now. So I promise if you've posted a blog since the start of NaNoWriMo, I've probably watched half of it and then had to get pulled away to do something else. So I'm working on it. I want to watch your video and I want to leave a really nice comment, but I'm just very particular about my YouTube viewing and how I have to compose my lengthy and thoughtful comments. So don't hate me. Okay, I'm done. Thanks so much for watching again. Good luck on the rest of NaNoWriMo or on whatever you're doing this month if you're not participating, and happy writing! Bye!